I always describe it, I kind of see it as a three-part sort of triptych type artwork. This first part, it seems to be kind of a funky a grinder type thing where they're actually roasting the beans. Then we kind of move forward with the neighborhood raccoons holding Easter eggs and drinking coffee. And then we kind of move forward into sort of a stein slash face concept on there. The mural itself, is, and again, I know nothing about Pokemon, but it's like a Poke Stop or whatever they call it. We get a lot of people that take their pictures in front of it. Um, I do some of my social media in front of it too. Does good art keep the bad art or taggers away? I think it's an unwritten code that you don't, especially with a sort of a street style, that you don't tag someone else's artwork. And why as a business owner would you keep something like this up? It's good street presence. Uh, it's part of the community, it's bright, it's sunshiny, and it's a good way to sort of, I'm on a corner lot, so it's a good way to kind of draw attention to my business.